Aggie, uh, tough one to take today, a bad day at the office. How do you assess that one? Uh, I think we've got, to, we've got to take one uh, from, a, from a staff perspective. I've got to take one, really. I think we've probably got team selection wrong. Tactically, we made a couple of adjustments at half time and it killed us. It's one, it's one of them, you try not to talk too much about it because when you win or you get a late equaliser, you, sort of, you think you cracked it and then um, you know, you're the best thing in the world and then when you lose and you get drum like that, you're the worst thing in the world. It's important just to take a bit of uh, the emotion out of it. But I said, I think I've got to take that one. Like I said, but even the substitutions we made, I'm not sure they worked. So. You know, with, with, you know, with staff and myself, I've got to have a bigger impact, a positive impact on the team. And I just think a couple of changes we made at half time uh, didn't work. I guess one of the frustrating things today was we had so much of the ball in that first half and didn't really trouble them enough. And, and then obviously the second half capitulated, I guess. Yeah, it was just a mental 10 minutes, wasn't it? Um, it, was a, it was a mad 10 minutes. Like I said, going back to what we just touched on, that we, we tweaked a couple of things in terms of the back line, just left us wide open to the counter attack. Um, and uh, we just got, just got butchered on the counter, unfortunately. Um, and uh, we chased the scoreline a little bit. So, unlike on Saturday where, where we, uh, were incredibly patient. That was one of the things I thought was really, really positive about our performance. Even when we were one 0 down with minutes to go, we kept doing us, and it paid off with the equaliser. Um, today we just really emotional, chased the scoreline, uh, and found ourselves um, forcing them. again that. That's got to come from us. As I said, the, the messaging from last time wasn't right. So, um, like I, said, I, I can't, I can't criticise the players too much. So I, it's been a tough four games and um, a tough turnaround to Truro. And the last thing they need is, is me as a manager making mistakes. So, um, you know, that's not on them today. That's on, that's on, that's on me. Looking ahead, then I guess it's a case of picking yourselves up, dusting yourselves down, and going again on on Saturday, Hampton and Richmond. Um, yeah, I guess what's next? Um, longest journey home ever. That's all I feel like we're doing. The mate is on the road. It's painful, um, but you know we'll uh, we'll get back on the coach. We'll watch the game. Um, we'll reflect on it. We'll move forward. Like it's, Part of the course, we've had we've had a positive start up until today. Like um, picked up points, and we've had lots of packs on the back. We've got to, we've got to take the uh, the negatives as well as part of the course. So we just um, four games in, got another 50 plus games to go. With sort of cup games and bits and pieces, so I'm not too too stressed. Um, you know, the, the important thing is that we we look at positive aspects of the game so again first half I thought we were very good um, without creating enough um, it's still it's still an area that we need to address um, you know, because I think we get to the ball to the final third for fun and we get the ball into some really good positions but lack a bit of cutting edge unless you've got Cash, Bongi and Tommy Willard working a little bit of magic beyond that more. Um, so yeah, so we'll reflect on that, take the positives out of today, because there will be some. Um, and like I said, take the take take the negatives and take it on the chin and move forwards and you know you've got Hampton, Bore and Wood, two games and uh, two very tough games and hopefully the last two away games for a while. So um, it's, yeah, it, it'll be a long week, I know that. Thanks Aggie. Pleasure.